yo, what in the whip, YouTube? It's your boy, Zach, and I'm back with Zach Reacts, and today we got Always Know the Spectators begin a car. Always. <clears throat> Always Know the Spectators card, beginner card trick performance and tutorial. There we go. I fucking did it. This is by Jay the Magician. Shout out Josh. Just uploaded this today. So I'm like here for it. Here for it. You know what I'm saying? Love you, Josh, my man. Shout out to you. Fucking excited. So before we get into this, please don't forget the link. You know, link will be left in the description down below. So you guys can go check it out for yourselves and like it up. Speaking of liking it up, there's a like button, a subscribe button, and a notification bell at the bottom of this video. You guys can click them if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's totally up to you. But if you do decide to click them, just remember that we keep it real here. So if you fake, if you alien, get the fuck out. I don't want to see you liking. I don't want to see you subscribing. And I don't want to hear the bell ring for any fucking haters, all right? 300 subs on my cartridge channel, and I'll do a 24-hour live stream. Y'all know where to click. Click that magic link. It'll do magical things. Also, if you guys want to be as what be the drip as I am in these videos, then go down below and hit the merch link. It'll take you there. You can get some new hashtag always strong hoodies, t-shirts, bucket hats, whatever y'all want to get. There's also some Cardmaster X stuff over there from a magic channel. And there's also a JBZ52 hoodie from my 52 album. Um, there will be more album hoodies out as well um, coming soon. But... Go down below, check that shit out. Thank y'all for 50 subs again. I've said it before, but I'm just super fucking grateful. Let's try to get to 100, man. Share this video with your friends, share this channel. And uh, I'm starting my new job this week, hopefully, so I'll be getting more money. And I'll be able to get y'all more fucking better quality videos and shit like that. So y'all will get it. Anyway, let's get right into this video. I'm tired of fucking talking. And uh, I'm excited to see some fucking magic. So let's go. Okay, y'all know we have to play it again. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Before Hi Josh. This video starts, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I like how he keeps reminding me, and I still totally forget. Um, here we go. There we go. You know, I leave my mark. Uh, he knows that that means I probably reacted to it, so. Also, uh, I got a new camera, so let me know if you guys think the uh, quality of these videos are a little better. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys a really fun trick. Yes, yes, it's better. Um, it's pretty easy to do for the most part. It really just requires one main slide. And it's super fun. You can win some money doing it even, so that makes it all the better. So with all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and get right into this. So I'll go ahead and take the cards, or the spectator, go ahead and take the cards and mix them up just like this. And once they're done, I would ask for the deck back and just have them select a card. Let's say they... Great quality videos, man. This is why y'all love him. Shout out Jay the Magician, man. Go with this one right over here. So I'm going to turn my head, but I am going to show you guys this card. Memorize this card, and I'm gonna go ahead and lose it somewhere in the middle of the deck. I think it was the three of hearts, but he showed it a little strange. Go with this one right over here. So I'm gonna turn my head, but I am gonna show you guys this card. Memorize this card. Yeah, yeah. He okay. I didn't see that before. That that fucking. I'm go ahead and lose it somewhere in the middle of the deck just like this and we'll go ahead and mix up the deck a little bit just to really get your card lost somewhere just like that okay and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna split the deck into roughly three equal piles just like this and i just want you yeah you to go ahead and shuffle up the piles just like this okay so getting the piles good and mixed up just like that all right and now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna show you guys um tops of each of these cards here so first we have the three of hearts here i'm gonna go ahead and lay it here next we have the two of hearts just like that and over here we have the two of clubs just like that okay and uh now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna have you call out stop on a card so i'm gonna go ahead and mix up the cards a little bit more just like this and now i'm just gonna have you go ahead and Call out stop. So let's say you call out stop right here. It doesn't really matter. In this case, you call out stop on the jack of hearts. Okay. So now, were any of these four cards your card? 
They were? Okay, awesome. So I know that your card is one of these four. So I'm gonna try and predict which one is yours. I'm gonna say this one, okay? So go ahead and look under, you know which one your card is, because obviously you saw me lay it down. So which one do you think is your card? They might say this one, but actually it's not any of these. It's actually the card I said it was. I like that. Cool trick. Cool, quick, to the point, beginner trick. Awesome. Love it. I mean, I know what he did, but I'll let him explain it. So that was a trick, guys, and now let's learn how to do it. Okay, everyone, so here's the tutorial. For that was a cool transition. So that was a, that was a dope transition. Trick, guys, and now let's learn how to do it. Okay, everyone, so here's the tutorial for the trick that you just saw. So to start off, the spectator can go ahead and shuffle up the cards. Just like that, and once they're done, just go ahead and have them select a card. So let's say they go with this one right here. It doesn't matter. Um, normally you wouldn't want to look at it, but you can go ahead and look at it in this case for the tutorial. It is the Jack of Diamonds, okay? So this is the selection of the spectator. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to control this card to being in the second position from the top, just like that. And there's a bunch of ways you can do it. Um, if you guys, I'm sure, have many ideas in your arsenal um, of controls that you can use. Um, but I'm going to show you guys what I did. So I just took the card. I, yeah, there's a lot of controls out there. So I um, put it in the middle of the deck just like that. As I pushed in, I pushed in at an angle just like that. So that card's sticking out. And I take my pinky push in and I got a pinky break just like that. I uh, did some cuts just like this to control it to the top. So I grabbed the break. And now that card is on top just like that. And then I just did a basic riffle shuffle. But what I did is I shuffled just like this. And I just made sure I only have one card left in this hand. And then this is their card right here on top. So it gets flipped on. And then one more card gets put on top of it whenever I riffle shuffle just like that. Nice little riffle shuffle. You know, it looks like he's shuffling, but he's actually setting up the cards. it, And now um, that card is in the second position from the top. So again, you can do whatever control you want. That's just what I use. Um, there's a million other ways you could use like the Marlowe's Till or the Bluff Pass or something like that. So whatever you want to do. Okay, so now that you've controlled it, you're going to split the pack into three equal piles, just like that. It don't have to be perfect, just roughly three equal piles. Sorry, my, my mom's texting me. So now, obviously, you know that their card, if you did it from right to left like I did, you know that their card is right here, okay? So what you're going to do is you're just, you don't have to do this part, this is optional, but you, you're going to have the spectator just keep swapping out the piles just like this. You just need to keep track of where their card ends up. So just keep a close eye on this pile, which is the pile with their card, just like that. So just mix up the piles. Just make sure you keep a close eye on where their pile ends up, just like that, Okay. So now, if you're keeping a close attention, you know that this is the pile with their card in it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the pile. Um, it's, it might not be here. Obviously, it might be here or here. But what you're going to do is you're going to take um, their pile just like this, and you're just going to do a double lift just like that, okay? So you're going to take it, flip over two cards as one just like that. And if you guys don't know how to do the double lift, I will leave a link down in the description below. But it's not that hard. You're just flipping over two cards as one just like that, okay? And then you're going to lay what they think is their card down, but it's actually just a random card because you did a double lift and lay it here. So now their card is still right here. Now you're going to take, come over to this pile and you're not going to do a double lift, but you're basically going to make it like the same thing you did here. So if you did a strike double lift like this, just make it look like you're doing a strike double lift again. But you're just lifting over one card singly, just like that and doing the same thing. Flip it, flip it back over, lay it down. Take this one, do the same thing, just like that and lay it down. So now they think you just flipped over three cards and showed it to them, but they think that their card is here because this is where they saw it. And in reality, it's still on top of here and the random card is here. So now you're just going to pick up the piles in whatever order they're in. So in this case, I know their card's here. So I'm just going to pick it up just like this. Just make sure that their card ends up back on top. So however you That's important. It has to stay on top to this point. I get it. You pick it up. Just make sure that their card ends up back on the top of the deck just like that. Okay. So now that you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to um, start to swing cut. So you're going to take it over. If you don't know how to do a swing cut, you're going to hold it in middle grip, which is something like this, your middle and index like that, um, your thumb 
on the back of it, and then these two fingers just over here. You're going to take and swing cut half the cards into your other hand, just like that. Take the other hat, just break it again. You're going to swing it over, and what you're going to do when you already pull this away is catch a pinky break. So my pinky is holding a spot right there above their selection. Lay this down, and now you're in perfect position to do a riffle force. So if you don't know what riffle force is, I'm going to go over it right now. So what you're going to do is you're holding this break above the spectator's selection. So now what you're going to do is just have them call stop whenever they want. They call it stop right here. It doesn't matter where they say stop. It could be here. It could have been way up here. It doesn't matter. They just call it stop right here. Let's say you're going to come over with this hand, grab it. You're going to tilt the deck up toward the spectator. So the top of the deck is facing them. Push down right here and then pick up at the break. So it doesn't matter where they call it stop. You're picking up on that break, forcing them to choose what card uh, you choose. So in this case, I'm making them, you know, stop on their card. Just like that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to come over and you're going to do a double lift again. So yeah, the main slight in this... That's that's I think that's known as the ripple force. Um, I'm pretty sure, but hey, it, it's something good that you can add to a beginner card trick. Give it sort of that pizzazz, that that blood that you need. Trick is the double lift. I'm gonna flip over this card just like that. So I'm flipping over two cards as one. So they think this is the two of clubs, but in reality, their card is right underneath it. They say, look, and now here we have the two of clubs. So you're gonna flip it back over, lay down what they think is the two of clubs, when it's actually their card. Lay it down. Lay the deck over here, and then the trick is pretty much done by this point. So you're just gonna say, okay, so I'm gonna try. Is your car? You're gonna ask them if um, their card is any of these four. So once you ask them that, they're obviously gonna think it's this one because this is where they saw their card get laid. And you're gonna put your hand over here. So, you know, you're gonna say, I think this is your card. They're gonna say, no, it's this one. You're gonna have them flip it over. You show that these three are not they're any of their card, but the one you chose is. So. That is pretty much trick, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys didn't get it the first time, just rewatch the video. And let's try to get to uh, uh, 500 subscribers for the end of the year. I do think it's possible, and I can only do it with you guys. So, all that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye, Josh. Anyway, that was awesome. Love that trick. Love that tutorial. That was great. If y'all enjoyed, y'all know what to do. And I'll see you on the next reaction video. Always strong. Let's go.